Hey y'all, your girl's back and I'm coming to you with a new tutorial on how to make these super cute and super trendy patchwork denim pants. And yeah, I saw this actually on Fashion Nova and was like, I really want to make a pair of these. So if you want to see how I did this, keep on watching and of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, enough chit chat, let's get into it. So what you're going to need for this project are three different color pairs of jeans. You can certainly use more, I just happen to use three. Um, you're going to need a pair of shorts that are actually going to be fitted. These ones were a little too loose, so my pattern was a little too big. Um, so definitely some fitted shorts for your pattern. Um, you're going to need a zipper, preferably in a blue hue of some sort, so yeah. And you're going to need some wrapping paper, tracing paper, or pattern paper. Um, you're going to need, of course, your tools such as your pins, scissors, markers, pens, all of that. And then you're going to need your handy dandy ruler. So any ruler will do to make some straight lines. Alright, so getting started, the first thing we're going to do is lay our shorts, folding it in half and um, placing it onto our pattern paper. So you just wanna make sure the crotch area of the shorts is you know, all the way out. Um, it's funny if that sounds. And this is also where I messed up too, y'all. So like I always do, I always tell y'all where you know I mess up so you don't make the same mistakes. But I added way too much seam allowance to some shorts that were already too baggy on me. So this joint ended up being like too, too big. So just about um, half an inch seam allowance will do. And then what you're gonna do is just cut that out so once you are finished that, um, you're going to actually make a second copy of this. So what I did was I just traced over the pattern I just made onto some new pattern paper. So we're going to have two copies of our shorts pattern. And then we're going to cut that out and that is going to be our back piece. So we have our front pattern piece and we have our back pattern piece. Now taking the front, this is going to be the most important step really um, is to decide, and it's the fun step as well, to decide how you want to cut out your little patchworks or you know patches. So we're going to take our, our front pattern piece and divide it into different little boxes and squares and rectangles, whatever shape you, you feel like um, you, know, you want to go with, definitely feel free to experiment with this part. So I, of course, you know, messed up. Um, but what I did first was I actually used a reference image to kind of help me with this because I did see this on, I think it was like Forever 21 or Fashion Nova. And I was like, ooh, I like that. So I just went ahead and divided my pattern into six pieces. So I labeled it one, two, three, four, five, and then I added another one for six. As you'll see here. So once you finish that, you're going to go ahead and trace over all of those lines you made uh, with a sharpie just so you can see everything. And I went ahead and added these X's um, everywhere that each pattern or each block met um, or touched. I added an X just to remind me to add half an inch of seam allowance. So I didn't add the X's obviously to the outer edges of the um, pattern just because we already added the seam allowance. But everywhere these um, blocks touch, we just added an X. And you'll see what I do with that later. And so I'm gonna cut every block out So once you finish cutting it out, it's a good idea just to take a quick snapshot or picture, snapshot, who says that? Um, so a quick picture of it. Um, and I also went ahead and flipped it over and transferred the numbers and the X's to the back. Um, and you'll see you know, what I'm gonna do with that later, but this is obviously optional. Um, and I also took a quick pic of that as well, just so I know how everything is laid out and I don't get confused as to which piece goes where. So it just gives me you know, a way to reference um, a pattern. So once I finish that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, where you saw me draw those X's. So remember how we drew the X's where all of the patterns touched? Um, we're gonna go ahead and just mark little notes saying to add um, half an inch. So I just you know put little arrows and added little notes. Um, this is a little excessive. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, um, but <laughs> clearly, if you you know you don't need the notes, you don't need to add all this this junk to it. But everywhere we see the X, just you know make sure you know to add a half inch seam allowance and i also did it on the back just so that um we had you know that reference as well now i'm going to show you several different ways of transferring your pattern onto your fabric so this is the first way 
um, which is actually the way I think is most most effective but you know whatever way feels comfortable for you that should be the most effective way for you so the first way I actually lay the pattern or the, the fabric facing um, two pieces of fabric uh, right facing each other so the wrong sides are facing out and the right sides are facing each other um, and then I lay my pattern piece you know with the white part um, obviously um, facing out and I just go ahead and of course mark my half inch seam allowance and then just trace everything to the pattern exactly um, that doesn't need the extra seam allowance so yeah, y'all know I'm infamous for like over explaining, but I just really want people to learn. So, <laughs> um, and then I went ahead and also transferred the number onto it just so I remembered that that is pattern piece number one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And now I have my two um, pieces for my right side and my left side of my shorts. And I went later went ahead and actually transferred it onto a different color, um, one of the sides, just because I wanted to mix and match. Now this is the second version of um, you know transferring your patterns onto your fabric. This version, honestly, y'all, I don't know, like it's totally up to you. But I just did it, you know, where I use one piece at a time and just went one piece at a time and um, transferred the pattern onto my first piece making sure that I'm drawing on the wrong side and then don't mind that extra little um, seam allowance I gave because I was thinking to do like a cute little design overlapping joint I don't know why I did that but yeah just think about that part so with that same number two pattern um, instead I'm going to make sure I flip my second piece so you know whichever is going to be my right piece or my left piece the opposite side I just flip it to the right side and so now I'm drawing on top of the right side of the fabric and I'm adding my seam allowance to that and my pattern piece I'm not flipping it over it's just the, the you know same side but the pattern or the fabric itself is flipped over if that makes sense so yeah, <laughs> like I said, it's totally up to you. I just did this just in case it makes me you know more sense for someone else. Um, and now the third way that we're going to do is I don't remember how I did this. I'm just gonna watch this. <laughs> so I remember. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So the uh, third way that I did was I actually used the. Remember how we you know transferred everything to the back of the pattern piece? So as you see here, um, I'm just transferring the pattern piece number four onto my fabric and I'm you know drawing on the right side of the fabric and you can draw on the left on the wrong side of the fabric with this method as well um, the key to this is just flipping something over which in this case is going to be the pattern piece so we're still drawing on the same right side of the the fabric but we flipped our pattern um, you know to the back and using all those references that we transferred onto the back, we're going to transfer that onto our fabric. So yeah, there you go. Three methods, three different ways. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Woo, okay. So, so this is what it looks like after I cut out all of my pieces, all six of my pieces. And I also added a little design at that, um, you know, the left-hand side you see. So you don't have to do that. I just added some fabric because I really wanted that externess um, but yeah so this part is mucho important um, so this is where you're going to attach everything so remember how we added a you know half inch seam allowances um, for everywhere the patterns met so we're going to be folding them so I flipped number one um, to face number two so right sides are touching and I'm going to attach those and pin those to the seam allowance and then I just moved to the bottom of the shorts um, to just kind of start pinning from the bottom just so it, you know, I guess it, this is the way it worked in my mind. But like you see me doing, all I'm doing is just flipping the pattern pieces over top of one another, um, making sure the right sides are touching and then pinning them to the seam allowance that I created. Or really just pinning them together so it's not too much, you know. So um, afterwards, what I did also is I actually sewed the pieces in half if that makes sense so as you see how I'm painting everything sort of like there's a top half of the short versus the bottom half of the shorts um, this just kind of helped me with like 
you know, doing it, you know, like piece by piece rather than all together just to help with passing it through the sewing machine. But you don't have to do this method. If you want to just go ahead and pin everything together, that's totally up to you. But I just started with, you know, one half of the short and then did the bottom half and then later put them together. So you can see you're going to sew along that edge. You're going to sew along this edge and then you're going to sew along this edge as well as this edge. So yeah. And like I said, those numbers definitely help. So, you know, I connected one to two and then technically two to four, but um, those numbers kind of help in terms of like referencing where everything goes. But yeah, I just go ahead and sew all of my pieces And then once that is all finished, now I'm going to attach all of the pieces together. So as you see, I'm flipping the, um, let's see what that is. I think that's number four. Um, well, basically I'll just attach all of the pieces together from um, whatever's left over to attach. So you see I flipped number four onto the bottom half and then connected that to that, you know, rectangular number three piece. But if the number's confused, I'm just gonna say y'all just uh, pin them all together if that makes sense. <laughs> I like to over explain things. I really have an issue and I'm gonna probably say this in every single one of my DIYs That's why they're all 20 minutes because I really really want you to learn and I'm technically learning too So it's like a learn along anyway talking too much. Okay, so <laughs> So now I am finishing up attaching all the pieces together on the seam allowance And then I'm gonna take that to my sewing machine and sew that down So there we go and that's what it should look like before we sew it but then obviously when we sew it it'll be all nice and neat so this is what everything should look like after you finish connecting all of the pieces for both the right side and the left side of your shorts so the easy part comes now all we got to do now is attach them together so make sure that the right sides are facing and the wrong sides are out and we're going to attach them along the curved edge of the shorts so you see i'm just laying one piece over top of the other right sides are facing each other and then yeah i'm overdoing it here um <laughs> i'm so extra um and then i am pinning everything along that curved edge and then i'm going to take that to my sewing machine and sew that down oh it just hit me i forgot to mention in my materials list that you need a sewing machine for this but you can also hand sew it if you like so yeah but i thought you know it's pretty obvious that you might you know need to sew these so once we finish up with the front piece, we're gonna move to our back piece. Now, real quick note, um, I lost these joints like at least two times and for some reason they so, I think I need to put like baking soda and vinegar on it cause these joints are still dingy and dusty and they're super old. So forgive me y'all, I, I promise I'm not dirty. But, <laughs> but basically I'm cutting off two different color pant pieces and then I just went ahead and cut them open just so we have one single flat piece. And then as you see what I'm doing here, because my, my back pattern piece from before, it's a little too um, tall for, for the fabric. So I'm cutting off the waist, um, which I thought would be kind of cool to mix and match the waist colors with the rest of the shorts. So I'm gonna save that piece for later. And then I'm just gonna focus on the bottom half of that for right now. And then I take my um, other piece, the, the lighter fabric, and I lay that over top of the dark fabric, making sure my right sides are touching. And then I just trace out, I pin um, my pattern piece together to that and then I trace out that um, shorts piece. And again, you don't need to add extra seam allowance uh, since we already did. And then once that's finished, I just go ahead and pin all the fabrics together, or the two fabrics together, and then I cut that out so that we have our left and our right shorts piece. Is. <laughs> so now that we have that we can just keep that as is because all we need to do right now is to sew along that curved edge just like what we did with the front piece so just pin that down and then take this joint to the sewing machine and sew that baby down so now we're going to make our waistband uh, for the back side of our shorts and I just lay my two fabrics right sides touching and then actually I went ahead and used the uh, first pattern piece from our front facing pattern 
um, because I like the way it kind of you know slanted on that diagonal so I use that and I just simply traced around it making sure to add um, half inch seam allowance at that bottom area and yeah I, I haphazardly did this y'all because I kind of technically did this off camera I just did it for an example so so um, yeah now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them at one side so the smaller side in this case um, so that we can attach that to our shorts and you see what I did there you see what I did there yeah I'm proud of that sort of um, it's kind of off but it's cool um, so now after we sew that uh, we're gonna sew the piece the waistband area um, to our shorts and again um, make sure that the right sides are touching and then once we finish that we're going to make pockets because pockets for our snacks are the most this is the reason why I made this channel because like everything every time I talk about pockets y'all know I talk about pockets and snacks because I like pockets and I like snacks <laughs> so yeah so now we're gonna make our pockets so basically what I did was I traced um, I just placed my hand down onto my fabric and just kind of um, traced like two lines about half inch away from my hands probably like an inch away from my hands and then pretty much we're gonna make this kind of like house shape um, so just use my ruler to create this sort of house house looking shape and um, once we finish that I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that out and I I already had my fabric doubled up but later decided I want one piece to be a different color so you see that's what I did here I just transferred the pattern onto a different color fabric and now before we sew the pockets down what we're gonna do is we're going to fold over the top edge of the pockets um, twice and just pin those down and we're gonna be taking that to our sewing machine and sewing that this is just for design um, but if you don't want to do this it's totally up to you but I do recommend that you fold or hem that um, you know top piece just so it's a little bit cleaner um, and this is what it looks like when we finish sewing it and now what we're gonna do we're going to actually fold down the edges of both pockets just again for you know to make it clean and nice and also to make it easier for you to attach it um, and sew it onto the shorts you can do it all in one go if you want but this just kind of helps um, make it a little bit easier especially for anybody who's new to sewing and just wants this to be as easy as possible <laughs> so so this is what it looks like and you're gonna go ahead and do it on both pocket pieces and now we're gonna um, pin our pockets down and then we're gonna just go ahead and sew those down and now we have pockets so the next thing actually this was kind of on a whim because I wasn't gonna do this because I'm very intimidated by front pockets um, just because I don't do them I don't know why but um, so basically to make the front side pockets what we're gonna do is we're gonna just trace around our hand and I'm just doing like a free like handed thing um, and it's just like this big sort of bean shape <laughs> um, that we make and I'm gonna just cut the make sure that your fabric is doubled up as well and then we're going to flip our, our, our piece over um, so that we can make a second um, copy of this so make sure you have four pieces all together now to attach them to your front side of your shorts you are going to need to have it um, both pocket pieces or like you know one layer of the pocket facing uh, wrong side up and right sides toward the right side of your front piece so right sides are facing each other wrong side is facing up and then you're gonna just pin those down on both sides And then you're gonna repeat the same step on the back side or the back piece of your shorts. And then we're gonna sew those down individually. We're not gonna sew the shorts just yet. We're just gonna sew them um, to each piece. And then after we do that, we're gonna iron because ironing is fun. No, it's not. Um, so, so that it's kind of it lays a little flatter. You don't have to iron, but I always recommend ironing just because it gives it like you know more of a polished look and everything lays down flatter. And sometimes even helps with the sewing process to make it a little easier. So just open up that seam um, where you sewed the pockets to the shorts, and just iron that kind of open and flat. So that it makes it nice and smooth when you attach all the pieces together so do that to both pieces and I also went ahead and did that to uh, some of the seams as well 
but I didn't really, you know, feel like I need that much. So I didn't really do it to everything. Anyway, so now we're going to attach everything together. So your short pieces should be facing right sides together and we're gonna just pin all the way around the pockets and the shorts. So just starting from the top of the shorts and then pinning around the pockets and then going to the bottom of the shorts. And then around the crotch area, make sure you pin that as well. So we're gonna just pin that V area. So once you finish that, you're gonna sew everything down and this is just me giving you an extra visual of what everything looks like, just in case I wasn't specific enough. Yeah, well, here we go. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so this is me again, giving you extra, extra visuals. I should probably cut this part out, but you get it at this point. <laughs> so, anyway, so we just go ahead and, you know, attach everything. And then this is what everything should look like. Um, and now I'm turning everything uh, right sides out so this is what our shorts should look like and before we get into hemming the waistband area we're gonna actually attach the zipper which we technically I technically should have done in the beginning so that I don't have to seam rip everything open and make it all crazy but yeah so this part can be easily avoided if you attach it early on when you're making the back piece um, but yeah, so I just went ahead and opened it up to the length of the zipper. So just use your zipper as a reference to how much you should open it up. And then once you finish that and once you get it to the desired length, you're going to pin it in place. So I just fold over each side of the fabric once and then lay that over top of the zipper. So I know I've probably shown you all how to install a zipper at least 20 times, but for my new folks, you know, I like to make my videos as detailed as possible and they do happen to be always like 20 to 30 minutes long, just because I want to show you every detail and, you know, not skip over things and like make you like watch my other videos and stuff like that. You can totally do that if you want. Um, and I'm happy to link them down below, but I just want to make my tutorials like something where you can not only learn how to make a pair of shorts, but also how to install a zipper, which will be handy for other things. So I hope you all enjoy my detailed and you know excessiveness so <laughs> so let me know um but yeah so once we finish pinning everything down um we're, we're gonna do we're gonna take that to a, the sewing machine and one trick that helps me is to open the zipper up when we're sewing one side and then close it before we get to the end of that first side so that we can go um easily to the other side and um, you know, just basically open it and close it until you're able to sort of maneuver, um, you know, around your needle around the zipper, especially that zipper head, because it can get kind of tricky. So now what you see here is I'm just um, hemming down my waistband. So I just fold that in twice. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and hem my shorts. So at the, at the leg holes, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that in two times as well. And once we finish that, we are all done. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so happy that this came out pretty much how I envisioned it. Again, I wish I used like more fitted shorts, but I'm very happy and pleased with the results. Um, let me know if you all decide to do this tutorial and if you make these shorts, please, please, please show me because I love when y'all show me the things that you've created. It just brings so much joy and happiness to me. You have no idea. So feel free to email me or like Instagram me, you know, your projects and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and love you. Bye.